yeah, the first well, the first three minutes, these guys were great. They must have like maybe had half a beer, but halfway through, they just lost their fucking shit. <laughs> the point of this one is is first world problems. Um, and for anyone who doesn't know, first world problem basically is any simple, easy problem that we have that when you start saying it to people, they go, mm, at least you're not a starving kid in Africa. Well, of course I'm not, but it doesn't solve my issue when people <laughs> say that. As, as, as weak and little as they may seem, they're serious issues. So what we're trying to do is, is treat these things with the seriousness they can deserve. can cause major problems. Social. It can. It can, and it really can keep you up at night. The Dave and John Show. show, 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 show. It, it's been quite a hot week this week um and i have had the problem that it is so hot that when i put my wax in my hair the wax is melting and i have very bad hair this week it looks like a candle has just been poured over the top of your head that's what it looks it like. is it's <laughs> terrible it, it has no life and and to put this into perspective okay i'm in my mid-30s now i i, I look at pictures you look like of the inside of a 80 th- year old's ear that's what your head looks like is it? <laughs> I want to ask why you were looking inside an eight-year-old's ear, but I'm, I'm sure a few more beers, we will probably come to that realisation stroke confession. Um, uh, first of all, problem. Um, how much shake is shake well? I think about urination quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I think you really need to shake deodorant a lot more than you need to shake juice, and you need to shake your penis after you've urinated a lot more than the others yes i would actually suggest that of them all the penis would be the least amount of shake really if you're going to give the rhythm of me shaking my penis after urination it's quick i want all of it out (laughs) sometimes when i finish urinating i find myself tapping my feet so quite gently (laughs) This segment, uh, Unjustified Prejudice. Dave's Unjustified Prejudice. <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily um, limit it to me, but there, there could be uh, some sort of prejudice among... I mean, I know you and Brian see yourselves as the perfect human beings. Uh, I, can actually, I can actually say right now that that bartender that we saw today... The, the guy. Yes. I don't care. The guy that knew you. The guy that knew <laughs> that young kid... I hate him. I hate how he says, thanks, bro. I fucking hate it. It's, ugh. Actually, I, I see him at the gym. I don't like him either. I don't have to <laughs> really. Sweet. I'm not alone. But yeah, but Dave, so Dave, but this segment is justified. I was going to say, you don't now. have to judge the fuck. You can just not That's like true, him. isn't it? That's true. Isn't it? You were trying to justify why yes. you don't not like his yes. kind. Yeah. I'm justifying it by John doesn't like him either. Eat shit from my rectum. My prejudice today is old men. I cannot stand old men. <laughs> Hate all old men. All old men? All old men. Define old. Above a retirement age plus. Nelson yeah. Mandela? <sighs> you don't like Nelson Mandela? <laughs> <laughs> the conversation is so horrible. Like, you know, it's all... About, about the olden times? It's always about the olden times. Like, even if they're not trying to be, like hey, olden times were better, and they're trying to embrace our time, they're still talking about olden times. I don't like that. It's in the Why past. are you going to tell me about that shit? I can read a book mm. and understand your times within, like, two hours. Like, so I, they, they should only... Like, what, what is your narrative going to bring to my knowledge? I saw a Tom Hanks movie, man. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not necessarily they're always what they talk about. It's uh, their features, man. Like, uh, they've got these... <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the hair. Have you ever seen an old guy's hand? It's like the skin from their wrist has been like ripped back from the knuckles. And it's like this tight skin, tight, tight ass skin, <laughs> which is like it's like a, the the skin of a drum. Like if you, if you like you know, poke a hole in it, it's gonna like explode, and like, bits <laughs> of the top of their hand are gonna fly out. It's it's weird, and like yeah, they 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 got like these wrinkly ass eyes, and they bend from the back a little bit too far forward. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. They're, <sighs> I don't like it. You know what? You know what I really don't like. I don't like that they shrink. They do shrink. I don't like because they would like have been that. taller, as oh. if they would not have been taller. Unless we were all dwarves when we were like twenty years ago. Like all these. Because I've read a book about the olden times. They gave them milk to grow. <laughs> they would have grown. But they shrink, so they're little. And you know what? What I really don't like, and, and mm. I actually might agree with you here, is and it makes me feel bad as, as a man, uh, and I think I am. Um, so when I see an old couple, I do. 
and you see the older woman and she's fit and feisty and, yeah. and running alongside and, and, and she's she's okay. She's Loves doing it. stuff. She's the one pulling the trolley. Loves life. And there's an old dude and he's 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 finished. It's like got gout ridden feet. Bent over, shuffling along with the Zimmer frame. No, he's hair. like sixty three, like, and, and, and he looks like a you know. I mean, Nelson Mandela, which we're going to get back to. He's like a really old man who went to jail for a really long time. I think three and a half decades, yeah. and he still looks great. Sixty. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to be one of them. I don't want to be one of those motherfuckers. I don't. I don't. I don't. I like this. Is what I don't understand is men like we're you know physically mm. fantastic, and then something happens, and we just end up being like babies again. And I want to put out there that my prejudice is not against old women. I no. love old women. Now, I, I, well, you, you, I do you, enjoy the blue rinse set. But I, <laughs> I hate when you see, you know, when they drag out, like, he's the Prime Minister of our country 30 years ago. Yes. And you look at him, he's lost it. He's gone. He's, he in, he's yeah. finished. And there's his wife standing. She's pushing him around. Yep. We should have made her in charge. She, she'd still be all right now. Dave and John. All right, so one of the ideas we've got is... Um, Sort of like, you know, when you're the pub and you sort of dare someone to do something. Well, basically, we want Dave to do things. Uh, partially because we don't think Dave does enough things and he's, he's the sort of person that's liable to just sit at home and do nothing. So, yeah. so so And then what's going to happen in this, basically, is, is Dave's put his hand up. He said he will do things. Uh, and, and both myself and Brian will come up with... Well, at this stage, come up with things that we want him to do. But the floor is open. If people have uh, things that they would like him to try... Um, we'll um, put it out there. One of my concerns was this, is that if Brian and John, which I do not uh, have any trust in at all to come up with a good thing for me to do, um, <laughs> would be that I would chicken out of it and would, would lose its entertainment value. So I told them both to almost threaten me with a... Uh, 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 another... Th- like a truth or dare situation mm-hmm. where the... Uh, if I don't do that, what is waiting for me is 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 truly horrible. Well, at least you have the choice. Indeed, yeah, I have yeah, a choice. Yes. Yeah, uh, we've we've t- talked earlier. We've got we've got two choices for you. Indeed, uh, two things that you can do. Um, the first one is we'd like you to try online dating. You've been single for a while. A little while, yes. People are starting to talk about you. Uh, we'd like you. To I just do- assume people like talking about me. Yeah. No. I'm an interesting guy. Yeah, it's, it's more of a necessity than a want. It is. It's more, of a, <laughs> it's more of a just be careful around Surely it's a, it's if it's not that interesting, it's more of a reflection on them. So we want you to try, we have two choices, online yeah. dating. In line or dating. Giving a horse a blow. Which sounds horrible. <laughs> Which sounds great. So before we get, and, and there's details to these, but we need you to pick basically... Giving a horse a blowjob. <laughs> what was the other one, really? The other one? It was going to be uh, defecating in public that's, until you get arrested. It, that's it. So defecating in public until you get arrested. And that's not, not, that's not like one poo, dude. That's like until you get arrested. It's a serious amount of eating. Yeah. It, is, it is. Because they've got to call the police. Like, you know, like police don't just happen onto an event. I have to, they have to, Someone has to call the police. They Maybe to, we should be the ones to call the police as you're defecating. As a, well, at least give me time. Like, you know, it, you can, it doesn't always... It's not always easy. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so what an awesome choice. Press the buzzer. I think I'll choose online dating. All right. <laughs> That's sweet. Nice. Online dating. <laughs> Done. So, we want you to do online dating. Can I assume because of my heterosexuality it would be a lassie? Yes. Yeah, I don't, I don't really think we want to disappoint any men. We're going to disappoint <laughs> enough women out there. I don't see why we should yeah. pick on them. And being gay is hard enough, Dave, without throwing you into the mix. So, yeah. And I've been thinking about this because, you know, uh, I'm always considering, you know, which, which uh, you know, I'd like to be in a lasting relationship and, and have a partner and do all that sort of stuff. So what we want to do is we, you, you really want someone who's stable, who mm. can offer that sort of family sort of lifestyle and stuff. But you also want someone with a bit of edge. So we're thinking maybe your um, your screen name will be Family Man sixty nine. Because <laughs> you see, that says I'm a family man. I'm, I'm I'm I'd like to have kids and and settle down and all that stuff. But you know, I'm a little wicked. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Huh? Well, you know. Can drive the kids to soccer. Can also smash it as well. Is that, yeah, that's, 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 that's the vibe. That's I'm going with. Kids are off at soccer. I'm betting you over the kitchen table. That's what we're <laughs> that's what we're going for. A couple of beers.
this hoe. A full of Dave and John show. Give some respect, yo. A full of Dave and John show. A couple of beers, ho. A full of Dave and John show. Give some respect. For the Dave and John Show.